She is a woman without a country. Eideen Stranson is officially a stateless person. No passport, no citizenship, unable to get a job, and living every day with the knowledge she could be deported to her native Iran, where, as a Christian, she could face grave danger. A worldwide outcry over her situation has apparently not changed anything. The world was outraged when the Swedish government decided to send a Christian and ex-Muslim back to Iran, where she could be imprisoned, raped, and even killed. But it didn't seem to bother the Swedish government at all. After CBN News first brought the former Iranian actress's story to the world stage, the government of Hungary offered her asylum, and many people from around the world wrote the Swedish government asking it to reconsider. It was uh, really uh, like a miracle for me when um, so many people in America, they called the uh, Sweden embassy. Many people, they send a comment to me and they say, you are welcome to our country. But Sweden's migration board told CBN News none of that matters. Aydin's case has been turned over to the Swedish border police for deportation. Now she waits in a kind of legal limbo. Aydin's situation is not at all unusual in Sweden. There are a fair amount of people who get stuck in between. Swedish attorney Gabriel Donner knows Sweden's asylum process as well as anyone. He represented 160 Christian asylum seekers last year alone. In your experience, should she expect to eventually be deported? She is running that risk, quite obviously. Eideen Stranson came to Sweden from Iran in 2014 on a work visa and adopted a Swedish last name. She left Islam and became a Christian in Iran after seeing a video of Muslims stoning a woman to death. And then she had a dream about Jesus. When she arrived in Sweden, she requested a public baptism. I want to have a baptized in a public because I want to say I don't afraid anymore. I'm free, I'm Christian. I, I want to everybody know about that. Which means the Islamic government of Iran knows. And because she starred in films and a TV series in Iran, it makes her an even bigger target if she is sent back. It's not clear if or when that might happen. Well, when it comes to the border police, it all depends on whose table it lands on. Sweden's backlog is growing and growing and growing. Right now, it's around about two years and growing. This is contrary to European Union law, but nobody cares. Donner says Aydin would first be sent to prison while authorities made arrangements to fly her to Iran. This is real prison conditions. They're not allowed to speak in telephones. They're not allowed to be on a computer. They're not allowed to get in touch with anybody. They wear prison clothes. They wore, if they're transferred anywhere, they're transferred in chains. Swedish authorities would then contact Iran and tell them Aydin is coming and when to expect her. Even though Sweden's migration board says on its own webpage it will never deport asylum seekers to nations where they face danger. Doing so is a violation of the Geneva Convention on Refugees. Sweden's Migration Board says it cannot comment on her case. Aydin spends her days helping at church or training in Taekwondo. She's earned a black belt, but the Migration Board took her certificate because she's not a legal resident. She thought she landed a job with the technology giant Ericsson as a computer programmer. But the Swedish government wouldn't allow that either. Sweden turned down Ericsson's plea to let her work for them. So as soon as you get your negative, you cannot get any support of any sort, no housing, no place to work, and so on, even if you had a job before. The idea is to starve you to the point where you come to them and say, please send me out. But she's staying in Sweden because her family is here and because she says Jesus told her not to be afraid. Stranson and other Christian asylum seekers in Sweden face deportation at the same time that the Swedish government has given 150 protected identities to former ISIS fighters who have returned to Sweden so that they can find jobs. There will be no such help for Aydin. There have been fast lanes for Syrians. And there have been fast lanes for Somalis. But not for Iranians and definitely not for Christians. We have even one judge here in Stockholm who never has said yes to any Christian. If they're going to act on her case to deport her, she'll get a letter? She doesn't necessarily get anything. They just turn up. 
and can turn up any time. I don't know what will happen for me in future, but I should say to them thank you to people, to CBN, and uh, to you, to all the people try to help me. I just can't say um, Jesus uh, bless them all. Dale heard CBN News, Stockholm.